join me for watercolor workshop. This paper is thin. We don't want to use thin paper. Let's use a thicker paper or a watercolor paper so that the paint does not buckle the paper. We're going to be using watercolor paints and a brush. Make sure you're cleaning up after yourself as you go. Keep your work area neat. We are going to need water. Find a container of water and fill it halfway full with cold water. You're also going to want to have some paper towels or napkins next to you in case you have spills and to clean off your brush. The first thing we're going to do is open up our paint set and we are going to get every color wet. So you can do this by dipping your paintbrush in the water and transporting some drops of water to each color. You can also dip your fingers into the clean water and let the drips of water fall into each color. Make sure every color has quite a bit of water in it. You want them to be nice and wet so that the paint is ready to go. If your watercolor paint does not have enough water in it, it will have a sticky consistency and your finished painting will also have a sticky consistency even when it's dry. So don't skip the step of adding water to each color. Choose a color to begin with. We are going to create shapes on our paper to experiment with mixing color today. So I'm using orange here and I'm making an interesting shape. Whenever you switch colors, I like to swishy swishy, I like to swishy swishy, I like to drippy drippy, I like to test it on the paper towel. Keep your brush clean so that you do not mix the colors in your paint palette. You want the colors in your paint palette to stay pure. There are a couple different ways that you can mix paint colors. One way is you can use a palette. So here I'm using the lid of my paint set and I'm taking some yellow and putting it on the paint palette and then I washed my brush and then I got some green. And then I'm mixing them together and I get a nice, look at that, yellow green, looks like a lime green. Another way to mix colors is to mix right directly on the paper. So here I've already put the lime green down and I'm going back in with some of the regular green color and I'm mixing it right on the paper. Another approach to experiment with is wet on wet watercolor. So what I'm doing is I'm painting a shape on my paper with just plain water. I'm creating this shape and then I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to drop some of this color into that wet shape and it's going to start to move and flow in the water. I have a little extra on my brush so I'm creating another shape over here and then I'm going to clean my brush really well. Swishy, 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 swishy. Really clean your brush so that your paint set stays pure dry it off and then grab another color and add that drop it in to that wet area this is called wet on wet watercolor I'm going in now with some yellow and I'm mixing the yellow with the red and the blue and letting it flow adding a little bit more water as it starts to dry and then I can add more color on top so I can layer the color and let it blend and just watch and see what happens.
Continue to create painted shapes on your paper. You can create different sizes, different shapes, all different colors and experiment with mixing different colors. Try to mix together as many different color combinations as you can. And as you're doing it, try to predict what the result will be and then see if you're right. So the best way to learn about mixing color is to play, to experiment. In this way, art is so much like science. We make hypotheses, so we make predictions, and then we do a little experiment, and then we see what happens, and we learn. Here I'm using yellow, and I have some extra yellow on my brush, so I decided to mix it in with this yellow and orange spot. One thing to be careful of when you're painting is that you do not wear a hole in your paper. So if you're painting in one area on your paper, you might start to see crumbs. You might start to see the paper start to crumb up. And what will happen is eventually you'll just rip a hole. The paper will disintegrate. So if you see crumbs forming on your paper, then stop painting in that spot and move to a different area of your paper and give that a chance to dry. You can come back to it later.
Don't forget to experiment with adding black to your colors. Now, black is a very, very strong pigment and a little bit goes a long way. And it will muddy or gray your colors, but sometimes you want that. So experiment with adding black to colors. Another color that I love mixing with is white. Experiment with mixing white into different colors. When you're using white, be extra careful to clean your brush extremely well. I'm going around and I'm using the extra white on my brush in different areas of my painting so that I don't waste any paint. Just remember when you are using white to give that paintbrush an extra swish in the water to really get it clean. If you see that your water is getting dirty, get new water. So carefully take your water, dump it out, swish out your water container and get yourself new water. You can't clean your brush with dirty water. Continue painting spots and shapes until you have your entire page filled. We are going to be going back into this painting another day when it's dry. We are going to be creating designs around our shapes. So try to fill in the entire page. Now you're probably not going to finish this in 30 minutes, but I encourage you to come back to it. Instead of looking at a screen after the school day's over, pop out your paint set again and continue working on this and just relax and enjoy the process enjoy experimenting with mixing One last color thing i'd like to show you is how you can layer into your painting so i created this yesterday and i'm going to go back into it right now and i'm going to layer more color on top so watch this I can take a little tiny bit of blue and I can start painting a pattern. I can create little dots here. I can create, I'm going to get take a little of that off of my brush. I can create patterns inside of my shapes. And this painting is dry, so it's not going to blend in the same way that it would when it was wet. So if it was wet, it would be blending together and bleeding together. But since this is dry, I can go back into it. I can paint some details and I'll get a completely different look. So you're gonna have to be patient and wait until it dries if you wanna try out that technique of layering dry, layering on top of dry paint. This is a great way to use white as well. So I'm gonna add some white to this very dark section outline this purple shape and it is starting to mix in with the black I can clean off my brush and get some more white and I can create lines so you can see it starts out white and then it does start mixing into the gray so that's another interesting technique if you discover something really cool please share with the class. You can take a video and you can share it on Seesaw or you can take a photograph and tell us how you achieved a very interesting result. I hope that you really enjoy playing and experimenting with mixing color in this watercolor workshop.